say it's been about a three to four hour boat ride by the um, river is Guardian of this land, and uh, uh, he's been looking after the plants for us. So just heading uh, in to have a look, see how they're doing. And always uh, in the jungle, got to carry your trusty machete with you. you never know when uh, some new plant has grown or um, a tree may have uh, fallen in the way. Yeah, path which needs uh, hacking up. Just gonna get a bit of foliage stuck in front of me. So it's Sunday morning, 6 6.35 a.m. here. Been up since five. So uh, after the boat ride, it's about a 10 minute walk to, to where the Sado lives. And then after that, we've got um, uh, about a 45 minute ride in a motor car through all the deforested pastures uh, to actually hit the rainforest. I think uh, we're actually trying to concentrate on the fruit now and uh, maybe report in again when we uh, actually get to the, uh, to the plantation. Welly boots are an essential part of uh, jungle life. Often doing stuff like this. It's been raining pretty hard. It's the start of the rainy season now. We've had like three, I think, really heavy downpours. You know, it's going to be going on like all day, some of them 24 hours. We had one where it was raining for three days. So it's great for the plants. They all start growing now. Plenty of water around here. Right, I'll see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, we've reached uh, the area where the, uh, the plantation is. I don't know if you can see, very. this is like, as we're standing now, we're running down a, a parallel kind of slightly cleared line in the forest where the plantation is. If you look around to the side, Getting into full rainforest. You wonder what I'm doing. I'm blowing off the mosquitoes as they're landing into to bite. Um, so here we go. We've got a little plant going on here. As you can see this very well. Having mixed results here. We've been trying a few different uh, things: planting in deep forest, planting cleared <coughs> areas. Uh, this plant seems to be doing kind of okay. Some of them are taking, some of them aren't. There's another one here. Just uh, running away. These have been in a couple of years now, so they should really be a bit bigger, but it's kind of like a fine balance between finding the right soil to grow in, as well as um, uh, having enough light for them to actually grow. Hey, Matsad Joe. Monster, my amigo. Just cutting, cutting across now to another another line here. So this plantation is going a bit slowly, but um, it does take a while this stuff to grow well. And, uh, yeah, slow and steady is always good. But so yeah, it's kind of like a, a continual process of experimentation. Um, finding the right soil, getting the right balance between planting maybe in 
you know, complete pasture, which is, you know, libre, they call it, which is kind of like open ground, or planting like in the forest. Trouble with when you plant in the forest, down the ground there's not much light, so uh, it takes much, much longer for it to grow. Now you can see here, as I come out, you see we've got a fair, fair bit of light here. I'll scan up so you can see what's going on. There's this big hole where probably there was a big tree that's fallen over at some point. And, uh, this little boy here, he's just doing fairly well, considering he's getting the extra bit of light, so he's looking very, very healthy. I wonder if you can see these mosquitoes flying around at all. I can certainly hear them. So yeah, this is uh, how your um, uh, donations uh, from attending circles is, uh, is, is being spent. Well, one of the ways that we're spending it is uh, trying to balance our environmental footprint on every level, which means we're also um, you know, replanting uh, medicinals uh, to balance the ones that we actually consume ourselves. Excuse me. There you go. There. He's doing quite well as well. He's got some lovely, lovely leaves on it. Just in a slightly less mosquito part of the jungle, so if I just check in quickly. Uh, here's a good example of uh, why I need to carry a machete. This tree's not fallen down recently, but as you can see, halfway here is a little bit blocked by um, fallen trees. So this is where we would use a machete to get through. I'm actually going to walk round. Uh, yeah, just to give you an example, I can't do macheting and videoing quite so well yet, but I'm working on that skill. Lovely big Ohe Renako tree. I think you can just see, you see there behind me, the buttresses. <laughs> it's a constant battle here with the mosquitoes. There we go, shoots up into the sky. I'll try and get a bit closer so you can actually get some idea of the scale of these buttresses. You see, look, that's a machete, and it's like at least half again the size. The buttress, that's not even at the, the full point of it. hole there. <laughs> Oops. Careful where you put your feet. And then there you go, the tree really goes up into the sky. It would have been absolute beauty. Right, I'm getting absolutely eaten alive here. If you can actually see a close range these mosquitoes <laughs> fighting like crazy. a medicinal tree from the Renaco family. So there we go guys, just uh, stumbled across another beautiful looking uh, vine, liana of some sort or other. Uh, you can see there going right up, this is a uh, tree here which uh, is growing alongside. This other here is just doing a good job of Cleaning it all up. An example of oh, how we work in the jungle. Whoops, I think that mosquito just went right down my gullet. <clears throat> uh, yeah. There we go. What a beauty. And a serious Liana. I mean, there's a machete just to give me an idea in my hand, just to give you an idea of how serious a bit of vine this is. This is obviously not our favourite. Rainforest medicinal vine, but still quite a beauty. It's almost like a staircase going up into the tree there. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, keep uh, keep supporting us. I uh, hope this uh, helps you to, to see a little bit more of, of what we're doing here. Uh, Try not to get absolutely eaten alive here by the mozzies, but uh, yeah, welcome uh, welcome to one of the tree source plantations here. Deep in the Amazon forest. 
Um, wishing you guys well. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you guys soon. Bye.